In this episode, I was so excited about my brand new purse until I caught my daughter stealing from me. Did she actually do it or was it someone else? Make sure you watch to the end to find out. Hey girls and guys, it is Edith from Style Let's Play and we are back on Bloxburg with my family. And oh my gosh, do I look different to you guys? Huh? 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 Do you notice anything different at all? No? Oh my gosh, how could you not notice? So, Michael decided to spoil me because he knows I've been going through a lot with the kids lately, you know? And he decided to buy me a designer bag and look at how cute it is! Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I don't really like it that much because it's kind of out there, you know? Like, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more subtle, but it's a thought that counts. And plus, I don't have any designer bags. So the fact I have this one right now, like, ooh, I'm feeling real cute. Uh, but even though I do love my bag, I am not gonna get to use it just yet because, you know, we're still kind of in like quarantine, lockdown and stuff. And with the coronavirus, I really don't want to take my purse out and get it dirty because if I take it out, I'm going to have to disinfect it. And right now, I promised the kids we were going to have pizza for dinner. So I need to go grab the pizza. But even though I do love my designer bag, I'm just going to leave it here because like I said, I don't want to have to wipe it down and put chemicals on it because I don't want to ruin it. I mean, he spent a lot of money on it and look at it. We can't ruin it. I can't. So I'm just going to leave it here on the table. I think I'm just probably going to take my phone and probably like a card or something and that is it. Let me tell everyone, Michael, kids, I'll be back. I'm just going to go get the pizza. And I also don't want anyone to go with me because I don't want them to, you know, like, you know, be out there touching stuff. So, all right, let's go. Hello, kind sir. Can I order a pizza, please? Thank you. No, I don't want just a slice. I wanted the whole pizza. Oh, all right, fine. I'll take this. I'll just keep buying pizza slices. All right. Well, I guess we're taking... Oh, uh, excuse me. You have to stay two meters away from me. <gasps> Your germs. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to <laughs> get this instead. I knew I should have just ordered the pizza. Oh, why did I have to go out and get it? Now I've got to go back with slices of pizza. You know what? I hope I bought enough pizza slices for everyone. <laughs> right, let's place it down. Ellie, Baby Biggs, me, and Michael. And we even have a couple extra. Perfect. All right, because I know Baby Biggs is going to want another one, and so is Michael. So good. We got extras. Now let's go call everyone. Baby Biggs is probably in his room playing video games. Ellie's probably in her room on Zoom or something. Is she there? Oh, she's there. Wait, does she have my purse on? Oh my gosh, she does. <laughs> Aww, how cute. I remember when I was little, I used to always try on my mom's like clothes and her shoes and her makeup. Aww, look at her. Okay, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but Ellie and I have been so distant lately, but she's been a lot better recently. Maybe I should buy her like a little mini designer bag so we could be like twins or something. Oh, she looks so precious. It does look so good on her though. <laughs> should I walk in there and say something? Okay, yeah, let's go in there. Ellie? Hey, the pizza's ready. Oh, where'd you get that purse? Huh? Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, you don't have to be sorry, it's okay. <laughs> It looks really cute on you. <laughs> I see you have an expensive taste. Sorry, I just wanted to try it on. No, it's fine. You can try it on. Just make sure you're careful with it. Don't get any like stains on it or anything like that. But go ahead. You can have it on. I don't mind. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn off your TV and we can go downstairs, okay, and have our pizza. Come on. Let's go downstairs. Oh, maybe put, put the purse down because... We don't want to get oily pizza on it because that's that, you know, mm, that's expensive. Oh, all done. That pizza was delicious. Oh, Ellie, it's all right. Just leave your plate on the side. I'm going to load up the dishwasher, okay? All right. Um, right. Let's go ahead and take the dirty dishes and let's load up this dishwasher. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. <sighs> Being a mom with two kids, this dishwasher has been like my savior. Can you open the game room? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me go open your, oh, you, you're gonna go play games? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> right, there you go. Oh, I gotta get rid of that bed now that Baby Biggs is um, 
not in his wheelchair anymore. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do now? I kind of just threw everything into my purse when I first got it. So I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm just gonna organize it, you know, make sure everything's tidy in there. Cause right now I literally think I threw like a wrapper in there, some open bag of hot Cheetos and we do not want those to spill. Um, okay, so everything was going really well and everything was fine and I kind of don't want to jump to conclusions, but I was going through my purse and do you guys remember how I said it was full of junk? Well, I know for a fact that I put money in my purse. I had like, I don't know, around $150 or something. I know that's a lot of money to carry around, but I was gonna take it to the bank, but where we've been in lockdown and stuff, I haven't had a chance. But like $50 is missing from my purse. And I know for a fact I put it in there. I've checked everywhere. I didn't replace, like misplace it. I didn't put it in my pockets. And now, like I said, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but Ellie was the last person who had my purse. And I mean, Ellie has been known to lie in the past. I think she might have stolen money from me. I just can't believe it. She's been doing so much better. She's been talking to me a lot more. So for her to do this, I just don't get it. I mean, I don't spoil the kids like crazy, but normally if they want something, I do buy it for them. So why would she steal? You know what? I'm just going to go ask her because this just isn't right. Maybe she took it on accident or something, or maybe it fell out. <clears throat> hey, Ellie. Hey, um, can I talk to you a second, Ellie? Um, you know how uh, you had my purse earlier? Did you take anything out of my purse? Did you drop anything or anything like that? Anything at all? No, I, I was just trying it on. Look, Ellie, I'm giving you this one chance to tell me the truth. Did you take anything from my purse? No, I, I swear I didn't. Okay, Ellie, I don't want to do this. I know you stole money from my purse. I'm missing $50. So where is it? Just tell me the truth now, and if you tell me the truth now, this doesn't have to turn into a big deal. Huh? I promise. I didn't take anything. Well, how did $50 just go missing from my purse, Ellie? You were the one who was playing with it, and now it's gone. But you have to believe me. How am I supposed to believe you, Ellie, when you've lied to me in the past? I just thought it looked cute. Ellie? Please, I don't want to fight with you again, and I don't want to argue. Just tell me that you took it, and then we could drop it. You could give it back. It's fine. If you wanted to buy yourself something, if you wanted to online shop, that's fine. I will, I will give you my card, and you can online shop. I promise I didn't take anything. All right, Ellie, I'm starting to get a little frustrated. The, the money couldn't have gone missing. It had to be you. And if you don't tell me the truth, I've got no choice but to ground you. And you're going to be grounded until you tell me the truth. Okay? I'm sorry. Mom, it wasn't me. Well, money didn't just grow legs and walk out of my purse, did it? So, it had to be you. No one else touched my purse, Ellie. Michael wouldn't have stolen money from me. And Baby Vix would never look in my purse. He doesn't even probably know, even though I have a new purse. You know how he is? You're never going to believe me. I, I'm just trying to put two and two together here, Ellie. It had to be you. And to be honest, I'm really, really disappointed that after everything we've been through, therapy, we've been working on things, we've been happy, that you're still lying to me. I don't know what to do. I didn't take anything. Ellie, just go to your room. And when you're ready to tell me the truth, you can finally be ungrounded. Oh, just when I thought things were getting better with her. It's like no matter what, if she takes two steps forward, she takes like 20 steps back. I just don't get it. I honestly, if she would have just told me the truth, I would have dropped it and we would have been okay because kids make mistakes. But for her to just lie to me like that, 
Like what? I just don't get it. I'm honestly starting to wish I never even got this dumb purse now. <sighs> anyway, let me go make sure that Baby Biggs is getting ready to go to sleep because it's getting late and he hasn't showered in I don't know how long. So, oh, Baby Biggs, it's time for you to take a shower before you go to bed. Wait, um, Baby Biggs, is that a new game? Or have you had that game for a while? Uh, yeah, it is. How, did, did Michael buy you the game? Because I didn't give you any money for that game. So how did you get it? Nah, mate. What do you mean, nah, mate? I got it myself. How did you get it yourself? Is it from money that your grandma gave you or something? Or what? Money from your purse? Wait, what? Baby Biggs, stop what you're doing right now. Tell me exactly how you got the money. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please tell me this is not happening right now. Please tell me. Well, it's kind of a long story. Well, you better make it real quick because I don't have time. So hurry up and tell me what happened. Oh my gosh. Or I'm going to break your PC right now. I cannot believe this. Well, I needed money and you were out. So I looked for some money and I found it in your purse and got the game. So how much money did you take from my purse, baby bigs? Tell me exactly how much money you took. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I can't count all of it. I had $150 in my purse. I still have 100 left. So based on some quick math, you took $50 from my purse. Baby Biggs, I just, I literally was just downstairs yelling at your sister because I accused her of stealing the money. I got the legend edition of the game. Well, guess what? I'm about to uninstall that game and I'm about to sell your computer. Oh my gosh. Well, that's your problem and not mine. Stop shouting at your daughter. Oh, I'm not gonna shout at my daughter anymore. I'm gonna shout at my son because he thought it would be okay to steal money from my purse. You're gonna have to mow the lawn for the next year of your life to pay back that money. I didn't steal anything. You just told me you took money out of my purse. That's stealing. You should never do that. I'm your son. Yeah, and I didn't give you permission to go through my purse. What's yours is mine. That's not how it works. You're grounded, and that means I'm taking away all your computers for a week. You're like, you know what? Two weeks, just because your face makes me angry right now. I cannot, and you know what? You're gonna have to go say sorry to your sister. I don't know how I'm gonna make this up to Ellie. She was in tears. She was crying. Oh, and that mini fridge? It's going to. Basically, this room's gonna be empty. The only thing you're gonna have in here is a toilet and a bed. I'm done. You're grounded and you're not leaving this room. No, no, look here. I'm not, no, I'm not listening to you. Oh my gosh. I, no, I'm locking the door too. So you can't leave. You're trapped in there. I don't care if it's torture. I literally have to give Ellie the biggest apology of my life. She was in there promising me she didn't steal the money and I didn't even believe her. Oh my gosh, I am officially the worst mom ever. I don't even know what to say. I don't know how I'm going to fix this, you guys. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here so I can go apologize to Ellie. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.